Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The Oakland Athletics have officially began the relocation application process. The application will require the A's to talk about Oakland and why they are planning to leave the market and why Las Vegas would be a better home for the team. Once the application is complete, the A's will need 75% of owners to vote in favor of the team's Las Vegas move for it to become official. Interstate 15 near the resort corridor is set to close to traffic overnight next week. I-15 northbound between Blue Diamond Road and the 215 Beltway. The closure is needed to install a gantry over the freeway that will see a dynamic traffic management sign later added. A man is facing a felony charge of making a false terroristic threat after stating that he intended to drive a truck through a crowd during Saturday's Golden Knights Parade. 31-year-old Anthony Zaccaro was arrested early Saturday morning after he made several claims about plans for acts of mass violence and suicide. Zaccaro phoned a mental health support service about his thoughts and agreed to meet with police at a gas station. For more details, log on to lvrj.com backslash crime. The Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada warns thousands of Nevadans will become homeless after Governor Joe Lombardo vetoed common sense bills relating to tenants' rights and eviction reform. Review Journal's Jen Ah has the governor's response. Well, here are the bills the governor vetoed. Senate Bill 335 would halt evictions for renters with pending rental assistance applications for 60 days. Assembly Bill 340 would require a landlord to initiate an eviction process with the court. Senate Bill 78 would require application fees to be refunded if landlords rent to someone else. Some housing advocates and different organizations have come out and criticized Governor Lombardo. They worry that different people will become homeless because of these bills that he vetoed. However, Lombardo has argued that uh, mom and pop renters who you know, own just a few units that they're trying to rent out could be uh, impacted by these bills if he did pass them. Uh, and he has also said that he did pass some bills relating to homelessness, such as creating funds to provide for homeless services. Governor Lombardo signed Assembly Bill 528, which would match funds up to $100 million to homeless service projects. Also, Assembly Bill 396, which funds rental assistance programs for the elderly, disabled, and families facing an emergency. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny with strong winds are in your forecast for today. Today's highs ranging around 96 degrees with wind gusts as high as 26 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Winds will increase throughout the day with gusts around 33 miles per hour by this evening. Tonight, mostly clear skies, lows around 67 degrees. For the rest of the week, winds will die down by Friday afternoon. Daytime highs in the low to mid 90s. We could see 100 degrees by Sunday. Mostly clear for your evenings with lows in the low to mid 70s. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, residents from across the state gather Tuesday evening at the Public Utilities Commission to vent their frustration with the high NV energy bills. The rate changes are related to programs that involve renewable energy and energy efficiency, according to the VP of Regulatory Affairs for NV Energy. To hear from both sides about the rate increases, log on to lvrj.com backslash business. Railroad Pass Truck Stop is adding a second stop that can accommodate more than 100 trucks along Interstate 11. The 25 million El Dorado Truck Stop project is 75 percent complete and will be located west of Interstate 11 and southeast of Henderson on the way to Hoover Dam. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Las Vegas Lights Football Club unveiled their special commemorative jerseys for its players to wear at its next home match on Saturday, July 1st. They will look to rebound into the win column against Tampa Bay with a 7.30 p.m. kickoff. To show their support for the Stanley Cup champions, their jerseys worn that night will look similar to the Golden Knights. There will also be a post-match fireworks display at Cashman Field on Saturday. Fireworks are also expected to follow the team's July 4th match against New Mexico United. 
In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. A ribbon cutting ceremony took place Wednesday for a new nursing program in Las Vegas. The new school is called Carrington College and it's located at 5740 Southeastern Avenue. The event included guest speakers, campus tours and live student demonstrations. It is a 22 month program and in this time frame you will learn how to be a nurse, you will receive your ADN and if you so choose they then offer an online BSN program. We're learning so much and we're getting hands on and I just really enjoy learning, knowing what I'm doing and being able to help people in the future. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Victor Wembanyama of France is a lock to be selected by the San Antonio Spurs with the number one pick in tonight's NBA draft. But the betting market for the number two pick has seen dramatic movement in the past few days. Alabama freshman Brandon Miller is the minus 550 favorite at BetMGM to be selected after Wembanyama. With Scoot Henderson of the local G League Ignite team as the second choice at plus 250. Henderson was the number two favorite on Wednesday night before odds shifted in Miller's favor. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. A family-friendly event educating the public on summer swimming safety and preventative measures for heat-related injury kicks off Wednesday. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more. The Super Safe Summer Initiative at the Whitney Ranch Recreation Center brought out families to swim in the summer sun, but also be aware of the hazards of heat and water-related deaths of children in Clark County. According to fire officials, in the last year, Clark County has had 45 water-related incidents involving children, 10 of which were fatal. Henderson Fire Chief Sean White reminding pool owners of the hazards. And that's patrol, prepare, and protect. Patrol, just an adult should always monitor children swimming in the swimming pool. Tragedies happen within seconds. Have a summer safety plan in place. Make sure your kids all have swim lessons and everybody in your family knows how to do CPR. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schieber. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.